right when you come in our house, there's an option if you want to go down or if you want to go up to the second story. So uh, right when you come in, I have this little fake plant just to add some greenery and the landing and the staircase. Um, I just think it looks great with the green and the white and the black stairs. It's just a little pop of color. So I'm gonna take you guys down first. This is the view from the landing from the front door. So right when you come in, you can see this little chalkboard sign that we have up here. Then all the way down to the stairs, we have this coat closet that um, we have like winter wear and just some random stuff up there, honestly. It's just a little extra storage that we have. And under here, we have a little bit of space that maybe if I get a puppy anytime soon, I can be able to put it down there and put like the little house down there. Then when you come down and you make a right, we have our first living room. So this is what our first living room looks like. We hardly even use this space. We we mostly hang out upstairs, either in the second living room or the room. One thing I love about this house are the really high ceilings that go all the way up. In this corner, we have this acrylic table that we bought online. I did all the decoration for this house and I'm kind of proud of it. I got these little stools from Ross and the table I think is from All Modern. And we just have a um, little accent pieces here. This is just the picture from our wedding, a vase or vase, jack, and just a little bit more greenery. We have our little fireplace here, our mantle and our TV. And on this side, I have this little plant, this orchid. They're fake, but um, they look real. Then there's access to our front porch, which is a little area where we can grill. Then here we have more storage. It's like nothing but junk in there. Well, not just junk, but we have our Christmas tree and like all our Christmas, you see lights down there and Christmas decorations. I think eventually if I get a puppy, that's where I'll like, I'll like convert this into like the little puppy house. If not, it'll be like in that corner over there. Anyway, we just have these old couches. These are actually when my husband lived alone in his apartment. He had these couches, so that was probably like 10 years ago. And I just have these little four pillows, and I also have another little stool here on this corner by the stairs. And these are just more pictures from our wedding. Here, I also have the faux fur rug and the matching coffee table to the one we have back here and just have a candle i love candles and i always like to have a lit candle i always like to be lit <laughs> um and then just some flowers there also with the same pillows matching the other couch and then just another extra little pillow that says i love us so it's a very open concept house this is the our dining table I love this table. I love this table for the leg. Um, I think it's very unique. And then we have the suede chairs. And then this decoration is actually from like my Christmas decoration. Uh, my Christmas decorations is basically white and gray, silver, and then some a pop of purple. But I didn't know what else to put on the table year round, so I kind of just left that there until I find the perfect piece to put at the, as the centerpiece. So then the wall, we also have that little accent piece as well. And we have my oversized fork, spoon, and knife in this beautiful chandelier that we also picked out. After our dining room, like I said, it's a very open concept house. We have our kitchen. 
As you can tell, we have uh, our colors are basically gray, white, and silver, and black. So we have a little small bar area, I guess you can say here, where we have like this, um, I don't know what this is called. It's not suede. I don't know. So yeah, it's a very simple kitchen, but it gets the job done. So one of the main things I love about this house is like how open it is. So this is basically the view when I'm doing dishes here in the kitchen or just cooking. I can still watch TV and I can, you know, see everything that's going on in the living room and our dining room. Off of our kitchen, we have this small bathroom. It's just a half bath um, just for guests to be downstairs. I decided to add a little bit of accent color in this one, so I went with purple. I'm actually missing a roll of toilet paper there. I like to have like the six paper, um, the six rolls just forming like a small pyramid. So yeah, this is what our guest bathroom looks like downstairs. Off the kitchen, that's where we have our garage, where it's mainly where we come in from. Okay, so now I'm gonna take you guys upstairs. So this is basically my husband's space. This is his living room and his little office at home. This is what it looks like when you come up. Nothing special, not really a lot of decorations on his desk. He just likes to keep it clean. On the wall, he also has this little accent wall with these six clocks that have the time, Los Angeles, Houston, New York, Paris, Dubai, and Tokyo. Another side of his desk, he has this, these frames, I guess, these canvases that I kind of told them to get. I just thought it was a really cool architectural piece. On the other side of his living room is his, I guess, game room. We actually got this couch from Amazon. I think it's pretty cool because you take, you can separate the pieces if you would like. This is just a wall where he keeps his diplomas and stuff like that. Then in this other wall, he has this New York piece, you know, with the black and white and gray just to match everything. Here he has this little Paris thing. Um, so his theme, as you can tell, is like city. These actually turn on. Let me turn it on. So yeah, you can barely see it, but if it's dark, uh, it's really noticeable that they turn on. And just the Wii, PlayStation, and stuff like that. He has his Mr. sign that we used at our wedding. He just painted it to match this room. This one is also the Empire. It also turns on. And then he just has these little cubes where we have game boards in there. So when family and friends come over, we just come in here. Oh, that one doesn't have any. <laughs> Um, when family and friends come in here, we just like have like game boards and stuff like that to play up here. So yeah, one thing like I said, I absolutely love about this house is how open it is. Where you can basically see everything. So after the second living room, there's a small hallway that leads to the bedrooms and the other bathroom. So this is also another guest bathroom that we used on the second floor. The colors for this one are basically the same gray, white, and black, but we added a little touch of yellow. Off of the double sink, we have this little toilet room, I guess you can say. Like I said, I'm missing some rolls on there. Um, I like to have the little pyramid stacked up, but yeah, this one's pretty simple. I still, I still need to find some yellow flowers to go on that base right there. 
So you, if you keep going on the hallway, I have this room which is like my makeup room and my own room but I will show that on a separate video. So down the hall you have our master bedroom. As you can see we have our bed. For here we wanted to have our accent colors blue and yellow. Here we still need to find something to put in this corner kind of to like hide those cables. But we still haven't found it. We don't know what to put on that corner. We're still on the search for that. Above this corner, we have just some baby pictures that we used at our wedding, but I decided to kind of like paint the little frames and just put them here because we didn't really know what to put here. And then this little corner, we just have a window and a full length body mirror. And then in our master bedroom, we have our master bathroom. For here, we obviously went with blue as the pop color. 